The same properties that make chlorine gas an effective disinfectant also make it an extremely hazardous chemical. A strong oxidizer, chlorine gas is a respiratory irritant and will burn tissues in the mouth, nose, and lungs. When combined with moisture, chlorine creates both hypochlorous and hydrochloric acids that will burn eyes, skin, and mucous membranes on contact. Direct contact with liquid chlorine, the pressurized form of chlorine gas, can cause frostbite. When exposed to air, liquid chlorine quickly vaporizes, expanding 460 times in volume, creating a greenish-yellow gas. Chlorine gas is nearly two and a half times heavier than air and settles in low areas and along the floor. Chlorine gas is toxic even at low concentrations. The odor threshold, or the level at which it is readily detectable, is as low as 0.2 parts per million. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH, short-term limit is one part per million. This means that you should not be exposed to chlorine at concentrations higher than this for even short periods of time. 15 minutes is the limit. At 10 parts per million, chlorine is considered immediately dangerous to life or health, referred to as IDLH. At 30 parts per million, it causes immediate chest pain and vomiting. At 1,000 parts per million, death can occur after only a few deep breaths of the gas. Chlorine is not flammable or explosive on its own, but it will support combustion. Chlorine reacts explosively with many commonly used chemicals, including acetylene, ammonia, ether, turpentine, even fuel gas. Always keep combustible materials stored separately to prevent violent reactions.